Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, we will go back to the basic, which is very important. We will answer different exam questions about vital signs and nursing assessment. I will give the correct answer, and of course, I will also have a short discussion. If you're ready, let's start! Question number one. The correct answer is letter B. The correct sequence for physical examination first is inspection, followed by palpation, percussion, and auscultation. While the correct sequence on performing an examination of the abdomen is inspection, auscultation, percussion, and palpation. This is what they call IAPEPA or IMPEPA as their keyword. If per quadrant, the correct sequence should be right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Special considerations. If there is pain in the specific quadrant, it should be palpated less. No palpation should be done to patient with suspected or to patient with abdominal aortic aneurysm, Wilms tumor, and to patient with tumor in the liver or kidneys. The best position is sitting or upright position or dorsal recumbent. Question number two. The correct answer is letter A, constant fever, body temperature. The hypothalamus is the one responsible in regulating the balance between heat production and heat loss. Types of body temperature, core temperature, it is the temperature of the deep tissues of the body, therefore it is more accurate. Surface temperature. It is the temperature of the skin which can be affected by the environmental factors. Types of fever Intermittent fever Body temperature that alternates between normal range to periods of fever at regular intervals. Remittent fever For over 24 hours, there is a wide range of fluctuations of more than 2 degrees Celsius, which is above the normal range. Relapsing fever. Short febrile episodes for a few days combined with a normal temperature for 1 to 2 days. Constant fever. Body temperature that is always above the normal range and it fluctuates slowly. Lastly is the fever spike, a body temperature that increases rapidly above the normal level, then following a normal temperature, then it returns to normal within a few hours. Question number three.
The correct answer is letter C. Methods of heat loss. Conduction. It is the transfer of heat through direct contact. Example is the heat from hot liquids that can make the cup also hot. Another example is if you feel cold and someone holds you to make you feel warm, the heat is being conducted from their body to yours. Convection It is the transfer of heat through the movement of liquid or gas. Example is the melting of an ice due to the heat from the air that goes to the ice which causes it to melt. Another example is boiling water in a hot air balloon. Evaporation It is the transfer of heat by the evaporation of water. Example is tepid sponge bath, cooling down of hot tea or coffee, and evaporation of sweat from the body. Radiation It is the transfer of heat without any contact. Example, ultraviolet light from the sun, x-rays from an x-ray machine, and electromagnetic radiation from your cell phone. Question number four. The correct answer is letter D. Basic terminologies on breathing pattern. Tachypnea, abnormally fast breathing rate that is more than 20 cycles per minute. Bradypnea, abnormally slow breathing rate that is less than 12 cycles per minute. Apnea, the cessation of breathing. Hyperventilation, rapid and deep breathing. Oxygen in the body is high and carbon dioxide is low. Hypoventilation, shallow and slow breathing. Oxygen is low while the carbon dioxide is high. Cosmo, deep, rapid and labored breathing. It is common to patient with diabetic ketoacidosis. Biot Clusters of fairly rapid respirations followed by regular periods of apnea. It is usually caused by damage to the medulla oblongata by stroke or trauma. Chain stokes Shallow and deep breathing pattern followed by a period of apnea. It is often caused by strokes, traumatic brain injuries, brain tumors, metabolic encephalopathy, or carbon dioxide poisoning. Question number five. The correct answer is letter B. Important points to remember. Use the appropriate BP cuff. Ensure that the patient rested for 30 minutes after smoking. Exercise and if there is any ingestion of caffeinated drinks. Position is sitting or supine and the arm should be at the level of the heart. Left arm if possible. Wrap the cuff one inch above the antique cubital space. 
determine the palpatory BP, then inflate the cuff 30 millimeters of mercury above the recorded palpatory BP or the point where the brachial pulse is no longer felt. Release the valve of the cuff at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. Use the bell of the stethoscope and position it appropriately over the brachial pulse. Listen carefully and identify the phases of Korotkov sound. Lastly, wait for 1 to 2 minutes interval before rechecking if necessary. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.